What is going on everybody? This is Dan Becker. I am into hiking and backpacking and gear and in today's video we're actually going to focus on more of the backpacking, bikepacking, I don't know. I'm in northern Wisconsin. I brought my good friend Tony. Oh, I should mention this video is sponsored by Rad Power Bikes. Rad Power, thank you guys for sponsoring today's video. They hooked me up with a couple of e-bikes. So if you guys are professional bike packers or if you bike pack or whatever you do, just know that uh, this may be a little bit uh, of a beginner slash not beginner backpacking, bikepacking trip. We've got two batteries with us each. Uh, the batteries last anywhere from 25 to 45 miles, depending on all kinds of stuff, how much weight you got on the bike, what the terrain is like, you know, the gear settings and all that stuff. Uh, mosquitoes so far are absolutely horrendous. We're gonna kind of play it by ear. Tonight, what we're gonna do is just look for a campsite. So uh, we're on this dirt path here uh, and we're just going as far as we can get. We're kind of held hostage by the battery. So the battery is going to determine how far we can <laughs> go. And there's even mosquitoes on the lens right now. But that's it. Wish us luck. I should probably mention, this is my first bikepacking trip. So <laughs> don't judge me. I'm putting myself out there, okay, on YouTube. Yeah, backpacking, easy, right? Got that down. Bikepacking? No. It's not what I expected. I thought it was going to be totally different. I'm depending a lot on these bikes because I packed a ton of extra gear. I probably brought twice as much as I normally do, plus 10 pounds of camera gear. So, <laughs> yeah, this bike is good. It's doing a really good job, though. It's really getting up these hills pretty well. Um, other than my only concern is battery life at this point. Okay, so we might have a problem. All of the established campsites are completely closed uh, due to COVID-19, uh, so that's not good. We were hoping that some of them at least would be open, but the, the list um, that we saw was just the major campsites, but it looks like every campsite is closed. Two, as uh, a possibility I might have a slow leak in my rear tire, because my rear tire is slowly leaking. <laughs> we are going to uh, trek back to the car which is uh, 16 miles back, and then um, look for a gas station that we can uh, get this tire fixed at. And you're probably wondering, Dan, why don't you just fix it with the pump that you brought? Because that's what bike packers do. Uh, I should probably remind you that I'm a backpacker and left the pump sitting in my garage along with probably other things that I was supposed to bring. Uh, it actually was sitting out for me to take and I totally forgot it. So. Yeah. Okay, status update. We are eight miles on our way back to where we started. Um, and I don't think the tire is leaking. I think it's just low. Um, and then with all the weight that I've got on back there, it's causing the tire to be uh, pretty low, flat. And that's causing my battery to die faster than Tony's battery. And that's a problem. So uh it's at least better of a problem than having a flat tire though a little stop here we've got uh about seven miles left to the car and i've got almost no battery i feel like kramer on uh, seinfeld remember when he was with the car salesman and they tried to drive as far as they could before they ran out of gas <laughs> that's a good episode you should watch it i'm holding my phone this time because i don't want to drop this big old camera here and if you can see that we're flashing empty Still got about five miles to go. A hill that looks like that ahead of us. The battery is pushing out less wattage, I think, to make sure the battery doesn't run out. We got one mile. This bike on its own, without even me or anything on it, weighs 75 pounds. And I'm almost at no power from the bike. So if you can imagine what that's like. I think that's it. The screen is still on, but the motor is not providing any power anymore. No wattage. So now you know what will happen if your battery dies. I think what'll happen is there's probably enough power in there to run the screen for quite some time, but that's it. Time to swap the battery. Each battery comes with its own set of keys. Oh, first try, I got four sets of keys. That was the first try, because we got four batteries. Uh, so they're individual two, 
the battery. And then once you unlock it, just lift it up and it comes right out. Now I just gotta find the battery, the key for this battery. <laughs> Last key for this battery. Boom, full battery, there we go. Tony is on the phone with a local campground. That is literally the only place we can camp around here. Dude, there's even mosquitoes in the car. Got them. Yeah, there's a ton of them. They're everywhere. Out. Well, I just told you where to go. Why didn't you find it? Rome Adventure Base Camp, Hayward, Wisconsin. Rome Adventure Base Camp. There's not a single mosquito here, am I right? Yeah, very, very few. How weird is that? So uh, we're 27 miles uh, away from where we were. They are allowing us to charge our bikes and our batteries and everything. Um, I guess there's some place we can bring the batteries in and they were totally cool, accommodating, so. It's like perfect weather. Uh, it is Saturday morning, and uh, Tony, would you like to give us a status update, what the plan is? Yeah, we uh, talked to a guy that knows this area uh, way better than we do, and uh, he said to go check out some uh, dispersed camping sites near Moose Lake. So that's what we're going to go do. We're going to see if it's available, and then uh, if not, we'll base camp here where we're at, and we're going to try and find some trails around there. He suggested some good stuff, so we're going to see what we can find. And we're going to get Dan's tire filled, because it's flat. Cool little gas station. This is the most awesome northern Wisconsin, old school gas pumps, super nice people, garage, air ready to go, doesn't even charge us. So yeah, we left the air gauge back home too. So that was, uh, we're just killing it on the, uh, the bike pump uh, situation here. So I hope we don't, <laughs> hope we don't overfill them. <laughs> we're gonna see if they got a tire gauge here. <laughs> I hope they do because uh, I would not want to be 20 miles out on some trail and have my tire pop. So for those of you that bike pack, uh, leave me some comments of how many tips I really need to learn before I ever do this again. Found it. <laughs> That's awesome. What's it supposed to be at? 30. 30? I'm only at what? You're only at 10. No. Only at 10. So the trail is right there. We just rode out and boom, here we are, camp. Nice little fire ring all set up for us. Right on the lake. Nobody's here. That was our big concern. We were worried that somebody might be here. So we're gonna go back, get our stuff, um, drive it back here. And then we're just gonna uh, bike trails all day cause we don't wanna look for another campground after this cause we don't know that where they're at. And uh, you gotta just kinda know yeah. where they're at up here. So luckily that, Mo knew. Mo knew. Mo knows. Mo knows baby. Okay, so we may have a major, major, major problem. This is where the battery goes. And when it's on the vehicle, you need to take the batteries off. Um, they're just not supposed to be on during transportation if it's on a bike rack. And the batteries have keys, individual keys to lock them and unlock them from the bike. Um, we lost a set of keys to one of the batteries. I'm going to get maybe 30 miles out of this battery and we just put on like five. And then we're going to go put on uh, another two or three miles just to get stuff to the campsite which leaves us not much to bike while we're here with these trails especially. So, <laughs> we need to find this key. And if we don't find the key, that may have literally just ended our trip. I put the key in my pocket and it fell out. We think on the trail. We think the key's on the trail. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. We're not 100% sure, but we think it may have fallen out on the trail. We're hoping, so pray with us, that it is at camp still in one of the spare batteries that we've got. But I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I took it out of my spare battery and put it in my pocket. So Whew. So here's the plan. <laughs> Again. 
um, since we can't find the key here at this camp, we're back at the original campground. Um, we're going to just bike with what we've got uh, and we're gonna camp here instead of that awesome campground we found and I'm so bummed about that because that place was amazing. Um, but we're just going to camp here because there's electricity uh, near here that we can at least plug into and charge the batteries um, if we start to get low. But I think we're still gonna possibly drive over there because I gotta look for that key a little bit more over there anyway. And um, we'll probably bike over there too. So I don't know, win, lose, lose, win, win, win. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna make uh, some lemonade out of some lemons. I forgot to brush my teeth, so I went ahead and did that. <clears throat> we cleaned up a little bit, now we're gonna head back to the other trailhead where the campsite was, where we're gonna look for the key, so let's go. So there's a, about a one and a half mile stretch from where we parked the car to the campsite that we originally found that we wanted to sleep at tonight, but, and that is about where we think the key may have flew out of my pocket. Um, yeah, talk about a needle in a haystack, huh? Look at that, there. There, and Tony is, he's way up ahead of me now. No key. We even ran into two other uh, people out here. One guy was fly fishing with a Tankara rod right here, and uh, he didn't find it either. We're gonna go do a loop around a lake. Yep. As far as we can get with the batteries that we've got, and as soon as they start getting low, we'll uh, head back to the car, and then head back to the other campground and charge them up, and maybe do some night bi biking. Night biking, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So far, I'm really impressed with how well these bikes do out here for being electric bikes. I mean, they are handling this trail with ease. Yeah, there's some good ruts that we've went over with, uh, with just only a little bit of work. You just give it a little throttle and you're up over it. Yep, throttle it and you're over it. I like that. Let's keep going. Let's do it. Next time I come up here, I'm bringing a fishing rod for sure. Look at this. Right on the bike path. How cool is that? Okay, we just got back to the car. I'm eating my green belly bar, awesome by the way. Me and Tony, just looking at the trailhead sign. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I cannot believe it. The keys! <laughs> yes! Oh, we have battery power again. I cannot believe that. That must have been the guy that was fishing. Yeah, I bet he found him on his walk back. Yes. We gave him a heads up, and I think he, he seemed like a guy that was very detail-oriented. <laughs> yeah, he was. So I think he, I think he just oh. perused the ground as he walked, and maybe he found it. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we're not giving someone else credit, but... We're just thankful we have it. That's right. And if you're the guy that found these keys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. Oh, so excited. Thirty-two degrees. That's what it got down to last night. Um, but it was really warm. So now we've completely packed up camp, ate breakfast, had some coffee. I even had like a chocolate shake that was really, really good. We're gonna take the bikes for one last ride around this camping area, and then that's it. We are out of here. Synopsis. I think it was a good trip. Yep. You know, it did not go as planned, nope. but that, that's the best trips. Yep. No. Wait. Yeah, it was a good trip. So, back on the road.